right, you're back with Arthur Moti on this Friday morning, and God has allowed me to share another moment with you. And this one is a special one for my subscribers. I've got a witness here, um, and it's going to be Uncle E and Uncle D, and we'll let Uncle E tell you what he witnessed with me with that last seizure, which is perfect because I want people to realize that he was able to witness the power of God and working through me so I want people to see that so I told these like I said these guys they're a witness now for God so you heard from Arthur Moti we're going to turn it over to Uncle E and Uncle D if you want to be in it you're more than welcome if you don't want yes, it's all yes. open so but I want Ray to tell what from your point what right. you witness okay so right. everyone here is Uncle E okay uh, good morning everybody uh, what happened is um, about a I would say it's a few weeks ago, uh, Uncle D here, my brother, went to get beverages for everybody, and and Mano was here talking with me, we were fellowshipping, and then I was like, he turned to his right and was looking at the wall, I'm like, well, wonder what's going on here, maybe he's having a moment or, or something, visiting with uh, anybody, and then I was, uh, I said, hey, Mano, what's going on, and then he, he proceeded to look up as if he was communicating with God and at that very moment uh, he he didn't respond either and I was like well hey what's going on and then within a few seconds after that Mano Moti uh, he fell back but he actually was laid down he didn't really fall so to say and he didn't hit anything his head was uh, not in contact with the table the chairs nothing as if God was laying him down and then there was an, an angel in here that uh, came right away and said, hey, what's going on? Can I help? And we said, well, maybe he's having a seizure. And then Mono proceeded to have uh, the, the remainder of that. But the whole thing was like, I think it was part of God's plan because nothing happened. He did, Mono, you didn't hit your head. Mm -mm. You didn't... Um, can't break the glasses. Right, that's another thing. His glasses were underneath him. The angel that was here, it was studying to be a paramedic. And he said, oh, here's his glasses. They were underneath his body. Not bent, not broken, not even scratched. Right. Mono. And it was like, it, this had to be a whole part of your the plan of God, Mono, because mm -hmm. nothing happened to you. Right. You didn't, you, you, you should have hit your head on something. The chairs, the restaurant, there was nobody. And it was like God wanted me to witness this, and and I, I was well. It was really hard to absorb. It took me all day, Mano, to mm -hmm. to to think about everything, and and then I got back to you, and it, we realized it wasn't uh, uh, an actual seizure per se by the devil or anybody. Yeah, it, wasn't it was God's it wasn't plan. Attack. It was a purpose of God for He wanted you to witness the, His hand on right. me. So that's what that was, and and that's why I'm saying that's how powerful God is because He wanted us a witness that where you go back when you go back to Peru, you can. I'm a witness you, actually to actually witness to right. He gave wow. you something to witness. Yes. In the flesh, that can strengthen you spiritually. Yeah, and you made a comment about your vision, Mano. Oh yeah, yeah, that he had me see even a little bit better. Just a little bit, a little piece bit by piece. Better. He's restoring like right. Moti's vision, piece, piece by piece. By piece. And it, but it's amazing how he chose me to witness this. But I might add, I couldn't see your eyes or anything. You mm -hmm. looked away. Some things in life are a little more powerful than what one can can witness. Right. And I think if I saw that going on, it could have really been too much for me. Right. So it, there's a scripture in the Bible, Mano, about. Uh, uh, who was it that looked at, was turned into a pillar of salt, help me out here, that was, the city was being destroyed? Yeah, it was in Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom right. and Gomorrah. Right. And, and, and I believe this is a similar event, uh, Don, uh, that uh, we, we can't look at something that might be beyond mm -hmm. our comprehension. And that's why I think uh, Mono looked away. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'll add to that, too, because like people ask me this, like when they first asked me, said, <laughs> Oh, well, what did God look like? I couldn't gaze upon God, I said, because he has a massive presence. His His presence alone and that voice alone carried the weight that I wasn't even looking because I was so mesmerized by the voice and his wow. massive presence. And the like, army. And the army. Yeah, he, I was able to see that when I couldn't see, I was able to look up and see his army above us, like hovering over. The, that let me knew right there that I was sitting at the foot of the presence of a king. And that's why I was saying in my one video, people don't realize 
Look how powerful God is that he could have taken me up. But yet instead he took his time. He came down to me. So I'm forever grateful for that. Well, That's why I said when you look at that. Uh -huh. B before this event happened, Mama, when you were looking up, you had to be communicating with God. Why else would you look up? Somebody right. has a seizure, they just fall and they start shaking. You, did, you didn't do that. Right. You had your moment, you looked away, you looked up. I saw the whole thing, mm -hmm. and I believe that's when God was speaking with you. And you remembered every event before it happened. Right. Remember the lady that walked in? Mm -hmm. We had customer, a customer that came in, one of the first ones. You remembered that. You remembered being here. You remembered the, the juice you ordered that, uh, that Uncle D went to go get. You remembered that. You didn't get it. But we got it the next week, didn't we? Right. So and, 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 and I'm going to turn it over to Mono here. Right. And that just shows you when you're in the presence of a living God, you're living because when you're dead, you don't, you, it's forgotten. You don't know anything. So that shows the power when you're in God's presence. And when I speak of, you know, when it says in the scripture, let, when Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead, that's how people, when they live in their sin, they're dead. Because sin is dead. There's no life in sin. But there is there's life in salvation with God. Well exactly. Said. Well said. I agree. Yes. And you know, like I said this morning, it's just on the, in this fellowship with the Gracies today. It's just it's been filled with mm -hmm. the presence of God, and it, it's it's so it's not even heavy. It's just so uplifting. Right. That's what oh, it is. Yes. And Inspiring. it's and it's more inspiring. It's uplifting. So I wanted you guys to just capture that and yes. let let you see from a another person's point of view when they witness the power of God so that people can believe. That's the purpose for me remaining here, right. to spread not only just his word, but let people realize how powerful God is. He's a living God of today. And that he, he brought you through this experience right. with his tender, loving hand. Right. So you, right. So you heard from Arthur Moti. We're going to continue the fellowship. We might yeah. do another video. Amen, but, brother. And you guys also notice we may even get in a praise and prayer walk today for God. So because we're walking for God. Because when you're living, you're moving for God. God is, we're living. We're, this living, is not a walking dead today. Right. And what's the new saying, Mano? Oh, Tell us the new saying. The new saying, like I said, put God, God out, front out front and follow. For you to follow. Right. And for but those, we, if you follow God, you're following a winner. And you will stay lifted in the faith with that. Amen. Amen. All right. I got to get that.